My name is Matt Gilman. I am 33 years old and I am blind. I also ride bike trials. Bike trials is a very technical form of bike riding. You have to balance and go over obstacles as best you can without putting your feet down. As a trials rider, you push the boundaries of what's possible as I do with my vision. So I was diagnosed with diabetes in 1989 and to, through my teenage years, I had the invincibility attitude where nothing can hurt me. And since 2006, every year my vision's been deteriorating. I'd have to go see a retina specialist who would later tell me that I had diabetic retinopathy. I've used a white cane since 2007. I started really getting into a deep depression thinking, what am I gonna do now? I can't ride a bike, I can't go anywhere, I can't do anything. I used to uh, go sit on my bikes in the basement and reminisce of the good old times of what I used to be able to do. Then one day I grabbed my bike out of the basement and decided I was gonna go out front with my trials bike and just balance and hop around on the curb and just jump on my back wheel. Quickly I realized that I, without vision, it was impossible to even track stand. So after about 20 minutes of trying to figure it out, I gave up and put my bike back in the basement and got pretty depressed. That night I started thinking about a way to overcome the balance issues. So I had to basically relearn how to ride my bike all over again. The worst thing about losing my sight, it's got to be transportation, especially coming from being able to drive at one point and getting around on my own. Now, to get five to ten miles down the road, it takes me an hour and a half. Another struggle is just getting around with a white cane, being able to see and walk wherever you want to walk, something that most people take for granted. Another thing that's real difficult is just not being able to see my wife anymore. And now I have a three-year-old son who I have never seen. I got a really good friend named Bill who assists me. He takes me out to ride every weekend. He also rides trials. He really enjoys it, which I'm lucky to have a friend like that, so I can keep riding and push him to ride more. And without him, I don't think I'd be riding my bike as much as I am and getting as good as I've gotten over these past couple years. Wherever Matt goes, he obviously he draws a crowd. Like whenever we go riding in town somewhere, he'll, he'll, people will come around and ask him questions and they'll see his blind stick and they'll ask, how can a blind guy do what you're doing? A couple people contacted me about having me come out to do a demo and show people what I was doing in person. And then it turned into a motivational thing where I was telling people of all ages my struggles, how I overcame them, and how it can relate to their lives. I have down days too, even riding. So I may fall today, which I probably will, because that's what I do. If I fall, I get back up and and complete whatever I did. A lot of people have seen Matt before they see him live. They've seen him on YouTube. Uh, they've seen him in a magazine. They've seen him on the local news. Uh, we have oh. Louie and Matt in here. We know Matt. Uh, he has been in studio before, Matt Gilman. I met Matt over at Joe's Bikes in Mount Washington and then found out that he was blind and he does bike trials. And yep. you've gotten involved with the, uh, the Tour de Cure. Yep. So Louie, do you know uh, more about this, the Ride for Diabetes? So I've been involved with the American Diabetes Association and their charity bike ride, the Tour de Cure. Uh, they do a fundraiser to raise money for diabetes research and awareness. And this past year, I've become kind of a spokesperson for them, going around and telling my story and getting people motivated to come out and help raise money for a cause that robbed me of my eyesight. We've worked with Matt for a long time. Matt Gilman's been coming out to our Tour de Cure for probably at least eight, nine years now. And what Matt does is really inspire our riders. While he's getting the word out, 
about the complications of diabetes, he's doing it in a way that's uplifting and inspiring. Matt Gilman's been involved in the event by doing bike demonstrations for us, raising awareness through his speaking while he's doing those demonstrations, and really just overall being a role model for those people who are at the event who are living with diabetes. I think to show them that although he is blind due to complications, he isn't not doing what he loves, which is cycling and biking. It's very impressive. It's, a, it's incredible to see somebody be able to do something like that. It makes you want to challenge yourself and do something new. I mean, I'm inspired to, you know, I'm doing a triathlon in two weeks, so you know if he can do that, I'm sure I can do do the triathlon. You are over at uh, Joe's Bikes in Mount Washington. You also work yep. on bikes, which is pretty cool. Seventy percent of blind people are unemployed because they don't believe they can do the work, or people won't hire them. And I had decided that I wasn't going to live off of Social Security anymore, so I went back to my old job as a bike mechanic and started just building bikes to get my foot back in the door. Matt didn't want special treatment when he came back. He just wanted a chance. I knew I could do the work. I just had to show people what I could do and that it wasn't going to stop me. I put my mind to it and I can accomplish anything. I was skeptical. I couldn't imagine how someone could fix bicycles without sight. So I made him prove himself by working on just building new bikes at first, didn't allow him to do any repairs. And finally he got bored and restless with that and insisted that he could, he could fix bicycles as well. Again, I was still skeptical, but we let him, let him go or let him start. And he has proven himself an incredibly capable mechanic. And now I'm the head mechanic at my local shop. Um, and this goes for anyone with any kind of disability or struggle in their life. There's, there's light at the end of the tunnel. It's not an easy path to take. You have to work pretty hard to go and learn something new or relearn something that you knew how to do. Um, but if, if you're focused and you want it bad enough, I think it's, it, it's worth it in the end. Matt, I love you, dude. I think you're, the, like I said, inspiring isn't a strong enough word. I'm just too dumb to have the right word. But <laughs> no, it's cool. You're, you're, I, I, I you're like a miraculous it. human being. It's unbelievable. Thank truly. you. I appreciate it. Great to see you, buddy. You too. Thanks for All having right, me. All right, stick around. We'll be back, folks.